This is Akashwani. The news read by Hage Ani. President Draupadi Murmu and her Serbian counterpart Alexander Vucic agreed to set a target for bilateral trade from the present 320 million euros to 1 billion euros by the end of the decade, said the Ministry of External Affairs in Belgrade yesterday. President Draupadi Murmu is on a three-day state visit to Serbia from the 7th to the 9th of June. While briefing media about the India-Serbia relations, Secretary West Ministry of External Affairs Sanjay Varma said that during the visit, President Draupadi Murmu highlighted that the relations between both sides have a shared understanding of each other's core interests. Earlier in a joint press statement to the media, President Murmu highlighted the positive outcomes of the delegation-level talks and the resolve of the two nations to work on diverse areas of potential cooperation. President of Serbia, Mr. Alexander Vucic, also promised simplification of the issue of visa to Indians. He hoped that direct flights between the two countries will begin soon. It will promote tourism and business better between the two countries, he added. Apart from the delegation-level talks, a high-powered business delegation consisting of members from three Indian chambers of commerce and industry, ASOCAM, FICCHI and CII, also held talks with a business delegation from Serbia. Yesterday, President Murmu laid a wreath at the Monument of the Unknown Heroes at Mount Avala. She received a ceremonial welcome and a guard of honor at Mount Avala. President Murmu will return to India today after the successful completion of her state visits to Suriname and Serbia from the 4th to the 9th of June. Home Minister Amit Shah will chair a high-level meeting this evening in New Delhi to take stock of the preparedness of the Amarnath Ji Yatra. The 62-day-long Amarnath Ji Yatra will commence on the 1st of next month and will culminate on the 31st of August of this year. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said that India has embraced technology to revolutionize governance and uplift service delivery. He said technology has brought efficiency and convenience to the lives of people and also enhanced efforts to build a digitally empowered India. Mr. Modi stated this while sharing on Twitter the articles, videos, graphics and information over nine years of technology for growth. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has been indicted on charges stemming from the federal investigation into his handling of sensitive government documents after he left the White House. He has been indicted on seven federal criminal charges for retaining hundreds of classified government documents and even making false statements after leaving the White House. The indictment alleged that Trump, while still in office, took classified documents from the White House and stored them at his mar a lago resort in Florida. The indictment also alleged that Trump obstructed justice by trying to interfere with the investigation into his actions. An indictment is a formal accusation that a person has committed a crime. It is a document that is issued by a grand jury, which is a group of people who are tasked with deciding whether or not there is enough evidence to charge someone with a crime. Union Minister of Information and Broadcasting and Youth Affairs and Sports called upon educationists to make Jan Andolan with Jan Bhagidari to strengthen the education sector. He was addressing the inaugural function of the three-day national conference on recent advances in school, also known as Shiksha Mahakumbh, at Dr. B. R. Ambedkar National Institute of Technology, NIT, Jalandhar, today. The three-day conference is being organized by Sarva Hitkari Shiksha Samiti Punjab in collaboration with NIT, Jalandhar and other premier educational institutions. While loading the efforts of Sarva Hitkari Shiksha Samiti, he said that the new education policy has been prepared after lengthy deliberations. It is focused on the skill development of youth, he added. The minister said that steps have been taken to integrate the old Gurukul education system with modern education system. He underlined that under the able leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the union government is committed to the welfare of the nation. India finished on top of the International Shooting Sport Federation Junior World Cup with 15 medals including 6 gold, 6 silver and 3 bronze medals at Seoul, Germany yesterday. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.